In this video, I'll explain all the weapons and share tips and advice on how and when to use them. The minigun can hit enemies across the map, making them great for harassing. They're weak, but they produce only a little bit of heat. Because the bullets spread out as they travel, not many bullets will hit distant targets, making them more effective at closer ranges. The cannon is really heat efficient, but it also fires slowly and can be difficult to aim at distant or fast moving targets. But it travels far and can decimate enemies standing still. It also has a small exploding area of effect when it connects. Lasers have a limited range and are best close up. They do less damage as the enemy moves farther and farther away. If you're wondering how you're supposed to know the range of a weapon, check below for a guide on reading your crosshairs. Now, lasers produce a lot of heat, but apply damage for the duration of the time they're trained on an enemy. They can be amazing at destroying enemy limbs, and sometimes chopping off an enemy's best weapon can decide who wins the fight, even if you're overmatched. The scatter shot is like a shotgun, and amazing at close range, so make sure your shots count. Missile packs are great at close to medium range. They punch hard and can fire in clusters if they're fully reloaded. They also have an exploding area of effect, which is dangerous if you're attacking a grinder who's right up against you. The Pulsar is considered the worst weapon in the game and rarely used. It does have a small area of effect damage when it connects though. The Railgun is a sniper and has penetrating damage, meaning it can travel through enemy parts and armor. It generates a lot of heat as you hold down the trigger and you can't fire until it's fully charged. To cancel a shot, just let go of the trigger. Hammers work best in conjunction with your zoom screen. Make sure you set up your controller bindings to have the hammer guided by either your controllers or your head. When a hammer is ready, hold down the fire button and aim where you want the missile to go, with or without the zoom screen. You'll see a timer of how long until the missile simply vanishes, so find your target before that happens. Once you let go of the trigger, the missile will launch forward quickly in the direction of your crosshairs. A good tip is to try aiming at the ground where the enemy is walking or landing. Limbs are easily destroyed by the hammer's blast. Also note that any weapon can shoot down a flying hammer, but Skyjack are especially effective at countering them. Right, skyjackers do damage if the enemy's going fast enough. If you see the fireworks explosion, then you're doing damage. If there's no blast, there's no damage. If you're being hit by a skyjacker while flying around, turn off your engines and they won't be able to damage you anymore. Then turn the engine back on before hitting the ground and try for a safe landing. There's other cool things you can do with a shutdown mech. Learn about them here, or maybe you want to learn about what makes each grinder unique, and sub to join my growing channel.